God created a world for us where all our needs were taken care of perfectly. Because of Satan, sin, and man's rebellion, we lost our perfect world. Now we live in a broken world of broken people controlled by Satan. That explains the pain and suffering we experience every day of our lives. We have moments of happiness, fleeting hours of contentment. But if we are honest with ourselves and each other, there's a longing deep within for something much better. For a deeper satisfaction. For permanent good. We know within the depths of who we are, something is very wrong. We have lost what we need the most. Man was never created to be separated from God's true love. Man was created to enjoy God's true love for eternity. Your heart was created for God's true love. There is a place that God began preparing for you the moment Adam and Eve bit into the apple. A place where man, once again, will have everything we need. Jesus called that place the kingdom of God. Jesus taught that the kingdom will come in phases. This age and the age to come. When Jesus died on the cross, that was the beginning of the end for the rule of Satan. Jesus defeated Satan by taking the punishment for our sins. Until Jesus' death and resurrection, man was guilty of sin and deserving of death. Jesus provided the way for man to break free from death. Jesus gives everyone the invitation to enter into the kingdom of God. You cannot work to get into God's kingdom. You can never deserve it. It costs nothing. And it costs everything. You must surrender yourself totally to Jesus. To enter the kingdom of God, Jesus must make his throne in your heart. We must live in obedience to God's law. God's truth. God's reality. Jesus and his kingdom must rule every part of our life. And we must share the kingdom with others. When we surrender ourselves to the kingdom of God, God promises to take care of all our needs. Man's ultimate need for provision, belonging, and significance find infinite satisfaction in the kingdom. The kingdom of God is a place where true love makes everything right again. Man's love is not true love. Man loves his family, his friends. Those people who love him. God's kingdom demands a different kind of love. In the Garden of Eden, the moment of man's greatest betrayal, God already had a plan to bring man back. The pain and suffering of being betrayed will be transformed into the pain and suffering of self-sacrifice. God's response to pain and betrayal was greater love. Jesus' response to the beating, torture, and death on the cross was the manifesto of the new kingdom. Father, forgive them because they don't know what they are doing. When we were enemies of God, he came and died for us. 
The demands of the kingdom are to love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. And pray for those who mistreat you. Can you do that? Only with the rule of Jesus in your heart. This is the way God has chosen to fight the kingdom of Satan on our planet. The power of God's rule manifested through the liberated hearts of those who choose Jesus as king. We are now in the first age of the kingdom. Satan and the kingdom of darkness are still in control. But not forever. There is a new age coming. Jesus has promised to return as a victorious king. Satan will be ultimately defeated. Sin will no longer exist. Death will be forgotten. And God will create a new heaven and new earth. All those who chose the reign of Jesus in the first age of the kingdom will reign with Jesus eternally in the next age of the kingdom. The reign of Jesus is now in the hearts of men. In the kingdom to come, Jesus will reign over everything. Everything will be perfect again. The kingdom is both now and coming. Let Jesus reign in your heart. Let the kingdom of God manifest itself in who you are and what you do. Let the light of God's true love shine through you in this present darkness. There is a kingdom of darkness and a kingdom of light. To which kingdom do you belong?